Hey, what's up? We're going to be doing a generator conversion here for a tri fuel operation. This is a Generac 5000 SE, and we're going to be using a kit here from a U.S. Carburation. This is a uh, Type C kit for all engines. Okay, so uh, here are all the parts of the kit laid out on the table. Uh, got your engine regulator here. You got your load block. Uh, this is the uh, the adapter here. This is the uh, main thing you're going to be putting in in between your air cleaner and your carburetor. And uh, got gasket, stud extenders, fuel tube, some wire ties, some new nuts and bolts, thread sealant. And basically, uh, everything I'm going to need here to make this conversion. Well, basically the first thing you want to do is make sure your carburetor is empty. So uh, I shut my petcock to the fuel tank off and uh, ran it dry. And we're going to start to uh, take it apart right now. I'm just making a fuel line from the carburetor here. Bring gas. Bring gas. Stop the line there. Make that wire tie, and then you're moving this whole fuel filter forward. Okay, so the first thing we're, uh, we're going to do here with the carburetor is we're going to uh, install these two stud extenders on the existing stud. So here's our air cleaner and uh, the vapor hose here isn't quite long enough, so the instructions tell us to use this little spacer here and these two wire ties to make it longer. And I tell you to cut this about midway. About midway there. So we cut the two pieces of hose and we have a little bolt through spacer here. So we're going to attach to extend like this. You give us two little wire ties here. Okay, we're ready to install the uh, adapter now, and uh, we want the airflow facing the proper direction, which is towards the carburetor. And we're going to want to screw our little hose adapter into it and give you a little bit of thread paste to uh, make sure you got a nice tight fit. I'm going to do that now. And they want you to keep the original gasket on your carburetor. And they provide you a new gasket put on this end. And now we're going to install our air cleaner. And we put a new length of vapor hose. The uh, kit does supply a splicer to use your existing hose, but since we had some hose, we we're going to use ours. And now I'm going to put this on. Make sure this goes in there. And as you can see, we're, uh, we're a little bit short down here for this bracket. So we're going to install a spacer they provide with us and a new bolt to give us a new extra long bolt. 
So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, now we're going to install the original hardware. We attach the air cleaner. Okay, so I've uh, threaded on the fuel hose here, and now we're going to mount the regulator. And they give you two holes on the bottom here, or two on the top. I'm going to mount them to the bottom here. Make sure we have enough clearance between the tire and the muffler here. And we'll get too close to either. Mount up. All right, we're going to put some thread paste on this.